Yeah, good morning. And in fact, uh, we've had reports out there. Sources say that kind of stuff, as we've been talking about all morning, and most of the major publications calling out sources say they've reached a deal. Well, a few minutes ago, the Iranian oil minister left the OPEC meeting early. Remember, OPEC has not made any kind of an official announcement yet. These are, and he, he was leaving. We had a camera there, and the Iranian oil minister making the first on the record comments confirming the deal to CNBC. Watch this. Yes, CNBC, you'll speak to our global audience, sir. How are you? Can you confirm the 1.2 million barrel a day cut overall? Yes, yes, this is uh, Please. 800 agri, but for another 400 from Nanopec, they are, uh, and will the word they are discussing, and I am sure that they will reach agreement. I am going to airport. Uh, and is Iran a part of the cuts? No, Iran is exempt. So, guys, there you go. I mean, these are the first on-the-record comments from a named delegate. Remember, it's a lot of rumors, a lot of sources say this, sources say that. The Iranian delegate may be stealing a little bit of OPEC's thunder. I'm not sure they're going to be really happy with that. Either way, 800 from OPEC, 400 from non-OPEC, which, of course, really is Russia, guys. But, but the, the intrigue is not over yet. Just because there's some number out there does not make this okay for the oil markets, and here's why. Number one, we don't know what the 1.2 million is coming off of. You remember, they base it off of a specific month. So if it's October or November levels, that could mean a different overall number. Also, what are the cuts and where are they coming from? Is it 800 from Saudi Arabia only? Is it 500 from the Saudis, 300 from the UAE? Remember, Nigeria looking for an exemption, Libya looking for an exemption, Iran got an exemption. The market wants to see what countries are going to cut by how much. And there is some chatter that maybe those numbers will not be laid out in the statement. They won't know exactly who's going to cut what. Otherwise, that statement could lose some juice, guys. So the intrigue, not over yet here at Vienna, uh, Austria, and the headquarters of OPEC.